money is always first and foremost. Secondly, our relationships, as I mentioned. People, uh, volunteerism is going to be extremely big. And I think the other thing is to have an honest, creative thought process um, that will question what we're doing, why we're doing it, and not to duplicate what other folks are doing out there. So an awful lot is going to really be what is a special niche that EIW uh, will have in the marketplace as a whole and how can we leverage it as I use the word leverage a lot because that's a, such a key word for success. But how can we le leverage others uh, so that uh, you can be successful by being a member of the group? I think the uh, most important resource are individuals willing to help uh, others start a business. Uh, those individuals uh, that have uh, experience in uh, business affairs and uh, commercial management, uh, those that are able to assist people to compete successfully on public and private uh, solicited jobs, uh, and to help individuals with dispute resolution, uh, financing uh, their business, uh, and developing growth strategies. I think all those elements uh, collectively are what's important. The resources are really a, a collaborative process. It, in my opinion, it can't be um, a one resource of, of human power, for example, or, or it's not just a resource of money. It's a collaboration of those. Uh, EIW has got to be collaborating with other agencies like Association of Washington Business, Association of General Contractors, and so forth in order to work with them in a, in a cooperative manner. So the money is just part of it. Uh, the service that's provided to the members is going to be um, more, a great return on investment would be a good educational program for them. So that's why they would want to become a member. And the supporting piece of, of those agencies and organizations that will support EIW will be ones that want to help the smaller businesses function. And, and that's why there would be a collaboration you know, between EIW and the other organizations. The biggest resource we do need are like-minded people, ones that understand the vision and are willing to rally around it and, and give their strength and energy to it. Also those that understand what we're trying to do and are willing to give finances toward it, knowing that the finances are not going to be used for those who are in charge, but are going to be used to help grow these small businesses. The resources that EIW needs really is committed membership. Committed membership that is going to be open and transparent on the, the obstacles that their businesses uh, have. And honest to those ways in which we can help them. I think that's number one. Number two, I think it's critical that uh, those subject matter experts, those knowledge-based uh, professionals that have years of experience come and provide those uh, uh, knowledge and, and input and perspective as it relates to our businesses on a regular basis. My hope is that we will have quarterly examinations where we can review businesses' financials and operations take a look at the work in progresses, and identify the opportunities as well as the barriers that their businesses are going to have. And number three, to make sure that we are sharing the best practices to those st other stakeholders that are involved in capacity building across the state, whether it be a public agency, whether it be an elected official, or a small business that's just trying to grow. Um, that's really what the needs of this organization are. Of course, we're going to need technical and professional subject matter experts. What we're really going to need is that organizational uh, capabilities to be able to align those skills and those talented individuals uh, to the right activities to really accelerate this process.